Today, I want to talk about sex, the commercialized sex. Uh, for the past eight years, I have been working to help the victim of sex trafficking in Japan. So I, our organization, uh, in the eight years, we helped more than 120 um, victims of sex trafficking, mostly women and children. But we believe there's more than that. Some of people might know. Japan is the, the biggest uh, destination country of the sex trafficking victims. So we are estimating there's 54,000 victims still trying to escape, but they can't come out because of the fear, because of the um, shame. So I have seen the extreme violence in uh, this commercialized sex industry. Let me share with you one of the clients we met. She was a 13 years old girl when she was trafficked by her pimps. So many men bought her. The men who could be as young as a student, like college students, or men who could be her grandpa's age. It's obvious she's being forced. She's not willing to be there. It's obvious she's a minor, but no one cared. Um, so she has been prostituted for two months every day. But in the same time, for the past eight years, I also see how I'm fascinated by how sophisticated our sex industry became. Let me share with you my own experience. So now, the internet, thanks to the internet, we purchase women online, we advertise them online, and we recruit them online. So a few weeks ago, I was in a subway, and the guy sitting next to me, he was scrolling down something on his iPhone. But he was about to um, make a purchase of the escort service. So he was scrolling down and deciding girl, which girl to um, choose, and then deciding the time and the venue. In a few hours, she will be delivered to his apartment or the hotel they arranged. How convenient is that? <laughs> and they even, you can get student discount. If you bring your student ID, they give you a discount. I was surprised because I did not know anything about this, but my, our clients told me. But I think it's affecting the way young people see the sexuality and the sex. The statistic shows young people, especially teens, they are more open to the commercialized sex, like buying and selling sex. In the same time, um, the other statistic shows young men, one in three young men, they, don't, they are not interested in um, having um, intimate relationship, or like having a partner, boyfriend, or girlfriend. I think it's affecting the way we communicate, especially young people. I think we are making our sex disposable. Like a fast food, you crave for it, and you buy it. It's instant gratification. And we can't save the person, the girl, like this 13 years old girl we helped. She's been trafficked to the prostitution for two months. No one realized she's being forced. No one cared. I think we can choose a society where the commercialization of sex is our daily life. Or we can choose a society where we teach the children the importance of sexuality and the positive side of sex and how to you know, build the intimate relationship. I want to ask all of you, how far are we going to commercialize our own sex? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.